Yo, what's up, man? This is the pilot, and I'm back. Again, you heard? Guess what? I need you to do. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Today, um, I'm not going to waste too much time, hopefully. Well, you know what? I think this is, video is going to be pretty long because I'm not really good at editing it, but I'm getting it done, you know? But... You, as you guys know, my big thing about style the most is accessories and wearing boots instead of sneakers or dress shoes, okay, when it's casual. Even sometimes with a suit, a boot looks better. It just depends on the type of boot um, you're wearing. But today, we're going to talk about, about six different styles of boots. And what my main focus and emphasis on this is the type of pants you wear with the boot. Okay, it makes a huge difference. Okay, if you wear skinny jeans, you need to wear a skinny boot. Okay, if you got a more of a bulkier boot, you may want to not get it too big, not get your pants where they're too baggy like a boot cut or anything, but you don't want it super skinny, tight, skinny, leg and fit jeans. You want them a little bit more loose to where they have a little bit more, um, they sitting on the ankle of the boot a little bit more, but hopefully I'll be able to find some pants that I have and show you guys the visual of what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna take any pictures of the outfits, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference in the, in the cut. But we're just gonna talk about six different types of boots, okay? That I like to wear. Now, it's the summertime, this is the first boot, okay? Anything other than the summertime, this boot is okay. Now, in some areas of the world, some areas of America, the construction boot, okay, whether it be the classic Tim, like this one, a black one, a dark brown one, the beef and broccoli one, all of that stuff, this is one type of boot that you can wear. Now, as far as jeans, I definitely would not, I would not, I would not wear super skinny jeans, okay? They will look like this. Okay, don't, you don't really want to do that. It's, it's a little bit off. It makes your foot look super freaking big. Okay, don't want to do that. You kind of want to wear, wear it to where something's a little bit more loose around the ankle where it sits. You know, um, everything, like I said, it's all subjective though. Anyway, honestly, man, like it's all about what you want to wear but this is just my suggestion you can take it or leave it this vice is not licensed but it's really professional okay construction boot now another one a combat boot like a, a doc martin okay some people will say that this is a construction boot too but i think doc martin's in their own little realm of their own um, they're in their own little lane. Now, depending on what type of person you are, like if you're going for the punk rock look, you can wear super skinny jeans with these. Or you can wear something a little bit more moderate, or you can wear some sweats, whatever. But it's just different things, strokes from different folks. Um, you know, I like wearing these jeans randomly with stuff. Um, like I throw some sweats on with these. Um, sometimes I even wear shorts with these. It just depends on how I'm feeling. This boot is a little bit more weird as far as trying to put an outfit together. You, uh, I took the strings out of these and um, and put some long ones in there for the double wrap action, as you can see, like something like this to where it looks like that, you know. But, I mean, this is another boot. Like, a combat boot is pretty cool. You can wear super skinny jeans, but it just de depends on your personality and what type of outfit you're trying to go for. Like, you look at, like, a, a person that's, like, a gothic punk rocker. They wear those super skinny jeans with these boots. But I wear a size 13 or 14, so if I wear something too skinny with a big boot, you know, I look like Ronald McDonald, you know. <laughs> so, it just depends. Now we get on to... The stuff that I really like, okay? A harness boot, cowboy boot. I don't have a cowboy boot. This is the closest thing I have to a cowboy boot. And um, you can't go wrong with this. Um, you can wear all different types of jeans with this. You can wear skinny jeans. You can wear moderately skinny jeans. You can wear a boot cut with these to where you're only seeing this part of it, you know? Um, whatever. It just depends on what you want to wear. And I love this boot, this harness boot. It just really gives it, um, 
a flair to it to where you look at the boots twice. This harness on it, I mean, of course you can take, like anybody, like when you take this the harness off, it still looks like a really, like just think about this harness not being on here, right? It's still a really good looking boot, but this harness just adds so much more flavor to it. Um, and like I said, with, with as far as jeans, I mean, you can't really go wrong with this boot. It just depends on what your what your aesthetic is and what you're trying to uh, get out of it. So, yeah, this is a wide boot. This is a harness boot. Okay, kind of like a cowboy boot. All right, but without the cowboy flair. All right. Um, this is a form. I don't know what to really call this. They call this a Joppa boot. This is a Saint Laurent Joppa boot. Um. I'll just for for the purpose of this video, I just call it boots with straps, right? Um, you know, like with that with that harness boot, it's more of a cowboy feel, right? It's more of a out on the range feel. This is more um, slightly more formal. Like I could wear a suit with this. With that harness boot, I don't. With that color, I don't know if I could do that. Um, it's a little bit different, but with this one, um, it's a, slightly a little bit more formal. Um, and a little bit more sleek and slim. Now these, you gotta wear skinny jeans with these, man. You gotta wear something tight around the ankle with these or you just take away from the boot itself um, and the whole purpose of it. The whole purpose of this boot to me is to look sleek and slim. I have, a, like I said, I have a, a really big foot and these still look really good on me. Um, so yeah. Boots with the straps in the back up top and all that good stuff. I mean, guys, I know I'm showing you guys expensive boots, but there are so many alternates online from from um, going to ASOS, which is one of my favorite places to shop. Forever 21, freaking um, uh, Top Man, uh, what else? Uh, man, uh, it's just a bunch of different places that you can get this from. What's the one? What's the one boot place that got all the? The cheap boots that everybody was on. I forgot, man. It'll come to me later. Uh, yeah, it'll come to me later. It's probably on the screen. But yeah, man. You can get boots from there that look just like these. are just as good. Just the quality won't be as good as these boots here. All right? So, strap boot. That's number four. All right? Another boot. Okay? People have forgotten about this boot. The chucker boot. Okay? Chucker boots. Now, these can be used so many different ways. Okay, um, mainly most people, you can use wear this with a suit, you can wear this with uh, kind of like work, work attire, um, um, the type of jeans you can wear, you can wear skinny, moderately skinny, you can wear a boot cut or something to where all you see is this part of the boot, um, and it looks like a dress shoe, it just depends, me personally, I'm a skinny jean guy all day, my legs even though I'm tall and I'm big, okay, I'm not like a fat big, I'm more of a like Thanos big, if that makes any sense. But my legs are really skinny, so a lot of stuff I can get away with, uh, I can get away with a lot of stuff a lot of other dudes my size can't, right? Because my legs are super small, my ankles are skinny. But this chucker boot, guys are, are you know, probably about, hmm, probably about six or seven years ago, this boot was really popular. It got to the point to where they started making versions. I remember Nike was making versions of this shoe um, in sneakers and calling it a chucker sneaker. Uh, fly knit chuckers. If you guys look it up online, I don't know if I have a B roll of it. A fly knit chucker. Um, but these are pretty cool, man. Uh, like I said, uh, the perfect outfit for this to me wearing a chucker boot is jeans, a pair of dark jeans, dark denim, a, a plain button up, whether it be white, black, um, workman's light blue and these right here and a fedora it's a perfect freaking outfit roll the sleeves up right here on that on that button up Woo! all right now the last and most important boot on this list okay my favorite boot of all time now this this actual boot is not my favorite boot that I have but this type of boot is my favorite and it is the Chelsea boot. Now, in my mind, what a Chelsea boot is, a Chelsea boot is a boot with this cut, this slim cut, without shoestrings, without any straps. It's got this Velcro, not Velcro, but it's got this elastic material on it, okay? Now, 
The only thing that sucks about getting a pair of cheap chucker boots, not chucker boots, but uh, Chelsea boots, is when you get a pair of these and they're cheap, this elastic will wear out, okay? So if you wear them a lot, when you wear skinny jeans and stuff, it'll start, this will start to expand and get all loose and ugly, okay? Um, and I don't think it's any way to reverse that process. So if you're gonna if you're gonna wear or um, get a pair of Chelsea boots and you know you, it's gonna be a staple in your outfit or in your in your um, wardrobe, you might want to spend a lot more money on those because you want to get really good elastic material. Um, one place in the UK that makes really good ch um, Chelsea boots is this place called the Represent Represent Co or something. I, I had to put it in here. They make really good boots. Saint Laurent makes the best boot, period. Okay, 100%. And you know other places, they have good boots. But the main thing, like if you're in the store, okay, and you're trying on shoes, you want to make sure that from the jump, this elastic material is super tight. Now, I got this from um, Aldo. Yeah, that's the name of, the, of these shoes, the cheap ones, where you can get cheap boots. Aldo, okay. Now, I got, this for, I got these boots for like 60 bucks or something. And if you check online, sometimes they go down a little bit more. But this, is, this was one of the boots that got me into liking boots. Like, this is one of the first pair of boots that I had that I was just like, man, these are really nice. They look really good. And they make my outfit look a whole lot better. The heel isn't that high. Um, now I'm at the point where I like really uh, boots with a really high heel with a thick uh, heel on it. But... Guys, that is um, pretty much it, man. So those are my six type of boots that I like. You guys, remember um, the tip that I gave you, okay? Wearing boots is cool, but you got to wear the right type of pants over those. All right?